And welcome back to Heavy is the Crown. It is still me and only me. Don't tell Nicole I said this, but I'm sad. It's lonely without her. I need somebody to yell at. I need somebody to make fun of, and I, I can't do that to myself. I'm too awesome for that. So what I think I'm going to do uh, in a few seconds, I'm going to probably, I don't know, go out and look for somebody, call a friend and maybe I, I, I have no plan for this. Um, I didn't think this would be too hard. And I'm ashamed to admit that riffing for another two hours or just like recounting stories of my past experiences, not as easy as I thought. So before I do that, I'll let you know what you've been listening to, because that's really what anyone cares about here. It's obviously not about Nicole, uh, maybe a little bit about me, but up for debate. So, like I mentioned before the music started and the rock and roll became heavy, the first three songs were about band names that formed from the actual names of the people. You have Black Vultures by Hal Storm from lead singer and drummer Lizzie and RJ Hale, respectively. After that is Diamante, named after the artist Diamante Azora Bovelli. And that was her song ghost myself from her latest album american dream followed up by the one and only van halen ain't talking about love kind of a uh, huge chronological shift there from 2020 to 1978 when that song came out but we're sticking there because the next one was dio walk on water now this one's different because dio is not his real name however the band dio was named after dio it's confusing dio was actually born ronald james padanova uh so when he was in black sabbath he changed it to writing james dio and then when he left black sabbath he became dio it's a whole big thing it's not worth getting into really and then after that we had abbott and their song dread reaver of course once again abbott is not his actual legal name his real name is olvi ikimo and he goes by Abbott, Doom Occulta, when he was immortal, and then when he got left immortal to form Abbott, he obviously used the, his, the name he took on. It's a whole bunch of legal jargon that, you know what? I'm going to save it for Nicole. Luckily, I decided to keep my name, Vector Lynn, because it's just awesome to begin with. Uh, shout out to my parents who named me that. Uh, and then Nicole's just like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm going to adopt a name. And uh, look where she is now. So, uh, Honestly, who's the real winner here? I get to do the show and she's got to sit in a quiet room for hours on end. I mean, she got to break the call, but really, really, I think I just killed the vibe of the show. Like I, I, I had a whole plan to do things by myself to, I had a whole bunch of scripts written out and then she's like, it's like, Hey, I'm here. Uh, I'm in court. Sorry, not to you. And you know, she it just killed everything. So I don't know what to do from here. I mean, she just ruined everything. She basically took my metaphorical script and just tore it up into a million pieces. So I don't know. I have to make some calls, see if I can get anybody in here or, you know, just go hunting around, grab anybody off the street. So while I do that, you're listening to 90.3 WMSC. This is Heavy is the Crown. And here's some other legal stuff that Nicole probably has to deal with. <laughs> 